Ooh. Eep. Ah. Uh, oop. Eep. Forgot to uh, click the button wrong. God. Bring it. Ah. Anyways, good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll be in visual range just momentarily. But until then, there we go. Um, <laughs> until I see, yes, anyways, uh, it's Mega GM back with more Battletech Advanced 3062. Sorry for the mess of an intro. Uh, yeah, let's just get into the game before I fumble it further. <laughs> oh, God, I had the donation thing up. Oh, my God, that's for stream. Anyways, um, yeah, we're on... Uh, Caldarium, and uh, we have some new mechs to play around with. I did some fiddling with them, and I have some notions. One of them I'm certain of, one I'm pretty sure of, and one I'm not entirely certain of. So, let's go to the mech bay. So, the one I'm certain of is the Rifleman, the Rifleman 3. This I have a plan for. All right, so, um, we're lo if you look at the Rifleman 3, you'll notice that it has a couple... It has egregious firepower. It has four Gauss rifles. That's a lot of punch. Now, there's a flaw with the four Gauss rifle plan on this mech. Well, there are two flaws. Well, there are three flaws. Also, Null Sig, which makes it harder to be hit and gives 20% damage reduction, which is cool. Um, it's got a couple of flaws. One is it's got a 180 core, so it moves to three. It is slow. Boy, it's slow. Yeah, Nulsig gives it, how was it, plus two, plus three defense events being hit and 20% damage reduction. Like, legit, it's, it, that's actually really good. Like, Nulsig's really good and it, it does generate 30 heat per turn. So basically, um, yeah, shuts off the heat cooling the mech. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically has 10 heat dissipation, effectively. And generates 20 per alpha strike because it's four Gauss rifles and they're five each. Um, so it's slow. It overheats, and it has one, two tons of Gauss rifles for four Gauss rifles, which means it gets four shots per Gauss rifle, and then it's done. This is not a well-designed mech. I'm going to be blunt about this. It's not. So, what are we going to do to fix it? Well, um, we're going to rip out two of the Gauss rifles. We're going to rip out these heat sinks. And then we're going to do a few changes. Step one. Um, we're going to slap a 270 core into it so that it moves 3-5. It is less leaden footed. Step two. We're going to give it a double heat sink kit because, it, God, it needs it. With the, with the Null Sig, it needs this. Step three. Uh, well, we're keeping the two regular Gauss rifles. Two of the regular Gauss rifles, you know. We should give it. We should give them each another ton of ammo, though, because, you know... Now it can actually shoot and not and actually keep up, you know, it can fire a fair bit. Um, what other toys do we have? Well, we could slap some fair fib armor onto this thing. We're going to have room. That, that'll make the armor lighter. Um, we have a defensive gyro here and actually plus one defense on top of the Nelsig. Actually, that's sort of a stacking, a good enough stacking defense bonus that it's lack of speed won't hurt it that much. I mean, between the Null Sig and this, it'll effectively... That's, like, effectively plus two evasion pips right there. That's actually pretty good on something this slow. It's still really slow, don't get me wrong. Um, and I can't fix that, per se. I mean, we could put a Gigunda engine in. Like, I could, theoretically, uh, if, we don't put, if we don't do anything else... We do have a 385 core lying around. We don't need one that's that big, but we can... Like we would need what another ninety on top of that? Uh, so that'd be what two sixty. We don't have a three sixty, but uh, so we go to three eighty five core, and we'd actually have tonnage left. We actually could do this. This is technically doable. And like, there's actually a real argument for this, honestly. Like that's there's an actual argument for like being this quick of foot, and you know. And just dump the rest of it into armor, really. Like, it, it's fine. This is a fine build. But it's not what we're doing. Because I want to use it the way it's sort of meant to be used. I mean, again, that it's it's a fast double gauss rifle mech. It, that, that doesn't... That's not, that is not interesting. I do have this silver bullet gauss rifle lying around, though. We also have the rotary, but we don't have enough ammo for that. But the silver bullet... That uses its own ammo. We would need two more tons of Gauss rifle ammo for the rotary, basically. But uh, yeah, this, or even just one more, might be might be enough. But 
Now we're sort of talking here. We can't give it, um... So there's a lot of things we can't give it. I kind of want to give it a C3 slave unit. Just so, it, you know, basically it's always in short range when people are getting... Like, when I've got scouts for it, I could do that. I, I, I basically I want to build into C3, kind of. Um, curiosity, does that... Is that compatible with EC Guardian? No. Can't use ECM with it. Um... Compatible C3? No. C3 can't, can't use C3. That's fine. I would love to put, I'd love to put a location designator on it, but we can't. I wish I had Gauss. I wish I did. Do wish I had Gauss fire control systems. We don't. We'll live. Can't mount lower arms on it. I could put a beacon on it, but that just seems silly. I want to save the rangefinder for something else. We could put a probe on back to active probe on it, I guess. In theory, we could run Mask, right? We don't have the slots for that, though. We'd have to drop the Ferrofib, and I really don't want to do that. So, basically, if I drop the Ferrofib, I could go with Mask. And then we'd add, we could add, like, a ton of armor. It's a, li it's a little under-armored, then. I'd probably drop the Defensive Gyro so we could get at least two tons of armor on this, but... I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to live with it being slow. Like, this thing is just not going to be a fast mech. We're going to throw Ferrofib on it. I'm going to push the max armor button, and then we're going to fiddle around with the, the armor here a bit, because I'm not happy with the look. Like, I need to... I want more armor on the arms. We don't need this much back armor. Right, we go 140 on each arm. I'd like to max the arm, maybe, but we'll see. Um... The torsos are fine. Um, no, let's drop that. That feels good. That that feels about right. It's not perfect, but it's 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 good. It's gonna be hard to hurt. It's gonna be it's rel gonna be harder to hit for a mech of its size than it should be, and the twenty percent damage reduction will actually be really significant with this much armor. Like, damn. So yeah, we're gonna do that. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. All right, so that is the Rifleman 3. We're, that's what we're doing with it. The Dragoon. This really doesn't need much done to it. Like, legitimately, it really doesn't. Like, I could I could run it just as is. Like, legitimately, this is fine. I don't want to do that. All right, we're going to drop the jump jets. I don't like the jump jets on... Th I don't like the three jump jets on this thing. It's a little too... And we're going to drop one ton of... Sl I'm debating what I want. I'm, I'm currently debating on some of this stuff here. I'm going to drop the ECM. I like ECM, but... All right. We do... We are absolutely slapping on a location designator on this sucker. And I want to add, like, an, I kind of want to add another ton of ammo. Uh, we're absolutely going to slap mask onto this sucker. And we really... Like, we're basically done at this point. I'd like to add another ton of, or another ton of ammo. And I'd like more armor. Like, legit, I could just run this. Like, this is fine. Right now, as is, it's fine. I'd probably trade these... I'd probably trade, like... I'd probably do this, like, at the moment. I'd like another ton of ammo. And we want... Yeah, like, this is legit really good. Like, I'd like another ton of slug ammo. I'd like to have two tons of slug... A ton of slug and a ton of cluster for each gun. I could literally just run this as is. I'm fine with this. It's not optimal. It's not quite where I want it to be. So my options are I could drop the PPC for some for more armor and I'd, I'd probably throw in some like lasers and such. Um, that's actually really tempting.
Oh, I do have a Clady RPBC. How what's, what's our heat delta right now? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Like, I like the ERPPC. Like, it's good. I could actually know what I could do. I don't need the range per se for moving. I could replace the ERPPC with snub. Actually, that might that might be the plan. Actually, and it gets me another ton to like add rear armor, which is what it what it needs badly. Okay, that's that's a real consideration. Like, that's just not bad. I'd probably, like, pull a little armor off the legs for the front torso. I think that's the change I want to make. The other build I was considering... Oh, I don't have the... Ah, oh, crap, I don't have the... Oh, wait, I can actually think I can pull the equaling now. Yeah, we can pull the equaling for another ton of ammo. And I'm missing one thing I really want then. Shoot. All right. Um, another half ton. Where do I get a half ton? Oh, I like this, but I'm missing what I need. See, the problem is I need a half ton for shield, which is something we very much want on this thing. Like that, that, like this basically makes this like very functional. I just need a half ton and I don't know where to get it from. I could, guess I could pull like a little bit of armor off of a bunch of different locations. Yeah, I think that's where we go. Yeah, that's it. That's the plan. If I want to keep the stub. I the other thought I had was just running like four medium lasers, but I think this is more in line with what I want to do. It also it feels more like the actual base build. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, that'll be ready in a day, which is cool. Alright, um two other things I need to do. We're gonna go to um the store. We're gonna go. We're gonna buy some bombs. I want to buy uh, a couple of backup cluster bombs New and a couple of backup high All right, McBay. We're low on cash, but we'll be able to make that back up in a minute. The screamer. All right, I'm gonna make some minor changes to you. And we're dropping the inferno bomb. I give you one cluster, but we're adding another high X. Uh, we are adding on location designator because that's actually going to be really good. And we're going to replace those medium pulse lasers with clan ER mediums. I think we're going to move the electro lasers to the torso and the clan ER mediums in the wing for the little bit of extra accuracy. These have evasion ignore, so they've got the they got a little bit more accuracy over the ER mediums. Um. Oh, I wish I kept the defensive gyro for this, actually. Right, defensive gyros. All right. Um, I could add another. I could technically add another bomb. I could add another cluster bomb if I wanted to. It's a little tempting, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I need more C3 slaves. I'm basically, I want to set up a C3 slave network, so. I'm going to slap you on here. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. For now. All right. Uh... The last thing we want to work on is the Butterbee. 
All right, so the Butterbee is very usable as is. I don't need to change this at all if I don't want to. Like, I could just send this out there and it'll do its thing. The problem is I don't really need another short range support boat right now. My plan for it long term, I just don't have the tech for the, the weapons for it now. I planned out I want to run four MML, MML nines on this. I have two of the four I need. Um, or either that or two f and nines and two sevens and then run them with Artemis. I haven't decided which I want to do yet. Um, but short term, I could turn this into another LRM boat. So we'd have two LRM boats to, to operate with, which would be fine. I might leave it as is, though, actually. Like, this is a brutal knife fighter, as is. Like, it's just a little... It can use a little bit better armor, basically, is my only complaint with it. I can't... I have to fiddle with it more to get it up and running. I don't... I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet, so I'm going to hang on to that for a little bit. All right, we're going to... We're going to chill here and wait for our mechs to come out of, uh, out of repair, because I do want to use them. And I realize I should have had something going on in engineering, although I don't really have the money for it, so it has to be something really cheap. I don't need the Rifleman 3 up and running yet, so that's fine. All right, let's take a look. Do we have What do we have on the way of missions? We've got an Assassinate, which we definitely wouldn't want, wouldn't want to bring the Rifleman on, and a Escort that we can get a bunch of stuff from. We're doing the Escort. We're going to do this Escort. I think I can handle this. Ooh, that's a big chunk of money for those picks. Ooh, that's really tempting. Like, that's... Well, how much is that? That is, like, a ha that's over a half mil. For a fair bit of salvage, though, I'm... Mm. It's Cersinus. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with the money here. I want the two picks, though. All right, so... All right, bringing the Archer. We're gonna bring the Dragoons. I want to try this sucker out. On the Ostrock, we're going to bring... I'll bring the Phoenix again, that's sure. And then we're going to bring the Screamer, the Scorpion, and now we'll bring the Nighthawk. I, I, yeah, okay. And then we're going to bring... And we don't actually have enough... Battle armor ton. We don't have enough stuff for battle armor at the moment. Well, we'll bring the mobile HQ definitely. Uh, it's an escort. I think we'll bring the we'll bring a Dakota and the sloth battle battle armor. I guess we'll bring the sloth battle armor. I need better battle armor to go with this, but like this is literally just a case of I want something to pick up and carry just to get some experience in somebody. All right, so. Static is in her archer. I don't know who's going to be in the Dragoon yet. Rhino will take the Ostrock. Thunderwolf will take it. The Phoenix for now. He's going to be... He is going to be the one driving the... Uh, the Rifleman 3 eventually. Dirt Sferig is going to take the Screamer. Bootcamp gets the Scorpion. Troll gets the Nighthawk. Magistrix gets the Mobile HQ. Put Lethal into the Dakota. Floppy is still out for a little bit, which is unfortunate. So I'll put Wolfbane's in the battle, assault battle armor to get Wolfbane some experience. I'm fine with that. Um, 
We'll put Primer in the Dragoon just to get him some experience, but that's going to be Wolfbane's ride. Alright, let's go. I do want to try out the Rifleman 3 at some point. Like, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to playing with that thing. That's going to be amusing. So yeah, I'm on the Butterbee, I'm thinking... So my plan is throwing in a bunch of MMLs. I, I like MMLs. I like the flexibility they bring. And I think the bi that big MMLs have a lot to... Like the like 9s and 7s have a lot to recommend them on this under this patch. Um... I will probably put Artemis on. I, I think I'm going to go 9s and 7s and run Artemis. And we'll go with... And we'll give the... We'll put LRM FCS on to... We'll take the Artemis off. I, assuming I'm short Artemis uh, FCSs. I don't know how many I've got at the moment. Yeah, the Dragoon right now... Oh, I need to order the guns because I want the PPC up top, ideally. The snub. Oh, this should be good. Oh, we're ready. Sorry about that. I was distracted. I yeah. All right, let's get going here. I know where we are. Okay. I know I know what map we're on. This is going to be a tricky one to navigate, but it should be doable. Aye, aye. Roll to that. Acknowledged. Got it. Yes, I'm there. On my way. I should be able to get along there fairly well. Heading out. Aye, aye. All right, I'm going to wait for the mobile HQ to catch up a little bit, but beyond that, we're good. Receiving you. Position confirmed. See how far the oh yeah she's fine all right great commander good to go move order received move into position on it coordinates received. Done here because the archer Holding basically we gotta, now we're moving at the speed of the archer, which is fine, honestly. Copy that. Heading out. Copy that. Heading out. On the move. Got it. 
on my way. Oh, I need to put a tardy computer into the uh the I think I've got I think I think I have one into the uh night Coordinates. into the uh Oh, that might be oh god, that's a good, good thought. I'd have to look into that. That's another tweak I would need to make. Moving to position. Confirmed. We're going to come down here on because like, we're going to have to come down here at some point. Acknowledged. On my way. I'm going to keep you up top, I think. On my way. Affirmative. Right, do we have anybody... Attacking the convoy spot is the question. Does not look like it. It looks like we got a clean entry into the convoy convoy area. I'll do what I can. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Moving to position. Yeah, it looks like this is a clean. Uh, nobody is at the. Nobody's blocking me, way. so that's good. Position confirmed. Location confirmed. Yeah, this look this is looking pretty clean. Moving out. On my way. Location confirmed. Location confirmed. Orders. Move order. They're gonna, the the slot the the tr Dakota's gonna be the one to trigger the uh, point. I just want to get everybody onto this. I know this map, so like this is this is why I'm doing this. I know the convoy's gonna be coming out here and going over to here for the extraction. So I want to get my. We're gonna have a wave of interceptors here and here. Uh, once we activate the point. On the move. Location confirmed. So if I can take advantage of my knowledge of that, I will. Moving out. Heading out. Coordinates received. On the move. I copy. So we've got the east. I'm going to probably... Where we're gonna hide the uh Roger that. Let's go to the venting heat. Let's go to you. We're gonna turn off the ECM on you. Do I have anybody else with ECM? Yes, That's Commander. a question. Turning off ECM for the moment. Standing by. Because I want the C I want the EC three C three network to work for now. Order. Moving to position. Need to get the arch. The archer is slow, so it's got to get up in position. All right. Moving out. On my way. Heading out. Moving to position. Affirmative. Right. All right, what are we escorting? That's the question. Oh, it's a max. All right. What are we being ambushed by? Let's see. We got. All right, that's that's that that that's got to go. We can't really let that shoot per se. Uh, Thunderbolt, perfect armory Thunderbolt. All right, that's a little worrisome. Six ton vehicle. I don't know what it is, and an SRM carrier. That's also God. That's terrifying. All right, what do we got for 
Roughneck. Ooh, we got a Dragoon. Nice. That's just... Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Not a gra not the Grasshopper I like, but that's fine. And a prim Primitive Belepharon. That's a piece of crap. All right. Great. All right. So. Roger that. Standing by. Reserving action. All right, that's great. I can we can hunt that barely moved, so we can hunt that down. All right, can Magistrix do anything? Let's get a six here. Commander. She can. Great. I'm actually just going to drop battle armor as a distraction. Like battle armor is like nope, is legit one of the best distractions out there. They are, it'll eat turns. I don't need the firepower right now. I'm not concerned by the offense they're going to provide, or the enemy's providing. I have to eat that round from the... from the, from the I'm, Okay, the big thing is that the SRM carrier is not going to do anything. I don't know what that is. That's a little worrisome. Aye, aye. Holding. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do about the long tom. Commander. What are you armed with? Double AC2, okay. Receiving you. I'm actually going to take a poke at the long tom with the Dakota, just because we can. Should be the Thunderbolt's turn. He is probably going to fire the rockets at the archer. He's just not going to shoot. Okay. I want to. I hate to do this, but we're going to gamble on the long time not doing a whole lot this turn. Oof. There, go Heavy deal with the long tom. Losing armor. Yeah, that was that was ouchy. What's its side armor like? Okay, it's actually got pretty good armor. So if we hit with everything, which we're not likely to, that's what. Uh, One twenty. I'm gonna drop the. I'm gonna drop. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna actually. No, we'll, th we'll throw the cluster bomb in there. Yeah, that, sh that should be good. All right, let's go. We'll keep two high axes. Locked on. All right, we got some damage and we didn't take it out. I that's out of LRM. That's fine. Not optimal, but fine. Yeah, like we can we can finish you off pretty quickly, which is good. Receiving you. Like that's. Got to go. Full speed, no target. You have to go. Like that is that is a new. Hostile removed. I would consider salvaging a long time, honestly. Waiting for orders. All right. Next up, next thing that has to die is the SRM carrier. Roger. Actually, pretty good odds on the on the Artemis there, honestly, on the uh, MRMs actually. All right, that worked. Hope we can salvage that. I mean... Hmm. 
Receiving you. Roger that. Venting heat and stabilizing. All right. Standing by. Definitely need more C3 at some point if I want to get a full C3 network going. But at least we can. S you have enough C3 to get the archer and its you know, accuracy bonus. Now let's start working on the thunderbolt here. Firing all way. Commander. I kind of wish I'd gone more money. Honestly, now I'm thinking about it. Like I don't. Copy that. There's not a lot in this. Like, I, it's certain I should have known that. Well, actually, you know, we might probably be able to score a score. A th probably be able to score a long time out of this, honestly, which would not be terrible. So. Receiving you. Got it. No shooting, just running. Like yeah, that bulldog's not that scary. So you know. Not bad odds, given that, you know, we am going to go closer here. All weapons are go! I kind of like this Dragoon build, honestly. Awaiting orders. Confirmed. Got some work on there. Sure, just take pot shots. We take what we get. Stress Thunderbolt. All right. I'll give the, bluff, the crappy permanent bluffer on this. He's got a lot of pilot wounds in there. Is there a reason for that? Oh, permanent cockpit is what it is, I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can eject, but... Battle armor, who are there to be a distraction? Go. I, I don't think I. I was trying to, hoping to distract more than they did, but no it's fine. Retreat. Oh dear, they are they are doing a number there. All right. Serving action. Yes, Commander. All right, let's see. Acknowledged. Let's see if we can finish you off. Just rockets, just just MRMs into you, and see if we can crit you out. Maybe. Fuck the lasers. Just yeah. Locked on. Not much left of it. That's fine. I'm okay with that, honestly. Waiting for orders. I actually really do want to put a uh, a precision t a location designator on this Nighthawk. I think it'll be a really scary backstabber if I do that. I've got one, so I might as well. Targeting the 
I would like to keep the, the medium pulses on this, but like I'm willing to part with the, the light, the X pulse, the, the light, the X pulse, the small X pulses. But like I'm willing to part with those if it means targeting computer. I'll see what I can do. Affirmative. Negative damage. Yeah. He's out of range. All right. Aye, aye. Holding. Let's let the bulldog go. Let's see if it wa maybe wanders too close to the, the, the sloths on board the Dakota. Shows not to move, it looks like. This is an uh, ace pilot? No, it's not. Alright, well. Yes, Commander. Alright, she's just gonna move. I'm not gonna drop anything else this turn. Full speed, no target. Got it. Yep. No, with laser, that's fine. I'm just like, ah, yip, 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 yip. yes, Commander. This is just done. I'll do what I can. Moving to. Gonna say bombs. We're just gonna come in and shoot with lasers. Like, we, it's, this is the last thing we got. I can just dogpile until it goes down. Not a big deal. Confirm. Let's go. Alright. That one's gone. Alright. Got that taken care of. Let's get the convoy moved up. I really do like that. I'm really liking this Dragoon. I I'm liking this build for the Dragoon, too. Like, It just looks... It's a cool-looking mech, too. Like, legitimately, I like the way it looks. Whoever made that model did a real nice job with it. Kudos to whoever built that. Serious kudos. Also, I'm very happy with my build on it. My build on it. I'm very pleased I managed to get a little bit of extra foot speed, which, needed, which I think I needed. Guardian ECM on it also. I forgot about that. I'll turn that off. I don't think I need it, but yeah. Commander. Position right, we don't want to get ourselves too stretched out. Orders. Confirmed. This actually was that, that yeah. That long time scared the crap out of me very briefly. Confirmed. 
On the move. Moving out. Coordinates received. Got it. Got it. Holding here. All right. Let's move the convoy first, just because it's easier to deal with if I do. They're going to move into the zone next turn, it looks like. We see where they come in that will determine how i move where the enemies come in so basically when you activate the uh this the the this, this zone in the this in the uh, escorts all right they drop behind us that is unusual you're in position commander Hold your all right until the that's actually very uncommon what we got cataphract Ooh, periphery cataphract Oh, I want. I know. I want something off that. A rifleman. Oh, perfect rifleman. There's some fun stuff here, actually. All right, the assassin's not great. That cicada's not. Great. These two are interesting. They're gonna be hard to take out because they've got real good armor because of the. Uh... We've got some very good ability to actually, like, move. On my way. On my way. Small stuff can go. I'm not sure worried by them per se. Yeah, the archer's got decent armor, decent, decent positioning and such. I'm okay with that. Got it. Okay, you're still pretty even with the even with the even with the uh, heavy plating armor their rear armors and they have been baited into shooting the archer which I'm ecstatic about ready for orders can I get a strafe in back this deep? I can. That's excellent. Give them everything you've got. 
I'm willing to accept some damage to do this. Oh, there's some legit interesting stuff here. Oh, they made it un made him unsteady. That's unfortunate. All right. Um. Yes, Commander. All right. Let's see. Can I get? Heading out. So the question is whether I want to go for anything in particular. Odds of hitting are basically non-existent, even with a precise strike. Yeah, no. So he's got a prototype XL. I think I'm going to go for a side torso on him, actually. See if we can get it. I'm not positive we can do this, but it's worth trying. Target acquired. Out of long range missiles. Yeah, we cracked his armor. That's actually not a bad thing. And we got him restabilized, which is what was important. And he's going to be hit on that side with the airstrike. No, that's a rear attack. Okay. What's the cataphrac going to do? Alright, not bad. You destabilized the archer. Alright. much armor left in that location. Did a number on him. Second wave of the airstrike. Okay, he's actually close to panicking out. Interesting. Assassin is dead, which I'm ecstatic about. That means I don't have to worry about it. This has been an extremely good airstrike for me. Let's see what you can do with the 2C here. Let's see if I can missile spam the engine out without breaking it. I mean, that'd be aw it'd be great if I could take this like fully intact. That'd be hilarious. I'm not sure that both those engine crits count, is the thing. Now it's got two engine crits. All right. There we go. All an ass. Alright. I'm just gonna go for... We're not gonna go full on. We're gonna drop the PPC. We're just gonna fire one LBX. Solid connection on that one. Alright. He's hanging in there, which is fine. Good to go. I have a thought. Should 
have left there not much. All right. Let's see if you can pick off the cicada, actually. Targeting for strike. No, that's fine. Good to go. I think that's four pieces of rifle, the rifle in there, actually. It is! That's an interesting mech. I don't know if it's a good... It's, I, it, it's, it's really legitimately interesting. I'm sort of, like, actually torn on what I want to do about that. Acknowledged. Alright, let's see what we can do with the cataphract. I don't wanna I don't wanna overkill the cataphract thing, because it, like it's another one that like I don't know. Do I wanna take this attack? I don't know yet. I will figure it out. So you can take out this cicada. I, I, the cicada I do not care about. I do not want you intact. I want you broken into little itty pieces. Hostile eliminated. Yeah, we don't want that intact. We don't want that polluting blue table. <laughs> I think I'm just going to Vigilance here, actually. Yeah, we're just going to Vigilance. Good to go. Next turn, I think we're going to send Zvergram behind the catapult here, but we'll, we'll see. We're just sanding his armor off. He's stressed. That's something. They're done. All we got left is a cataphract, and I've got a plan for you, my friend. So I'm gonna have a bunch of interesting options to go with for this, which I think is interesting. Which I think is gonna be fun. We haven't got, we're not gonna have as much loot as I would like, but to go. confirmed. I'm really liking the the tweet to the screamer. I think the cluster bomb is a good pickup, just to give me a little bit of extra option. We're going to, I'm real tempted. I'm also real tempted by the uh, we're just going to all high X. Firing an enemy pick. Oh, what's up, boss? Damage. All right, he's hanging in there. Let's do this. Double time. Let's go. Kind of want to take you intact. Kind of don't. Yeah, we basically fl yeah we flundered it. That's fine. Mission successful. I like the cataphract, but like, uh, I actually would like I would not mind a cataphract, honestly.
All right, we, we got 1.6 million out of this, so I'm I'm down. Like, we spent, like, on the airstrike, and you know what? I don't care. Like, that 1.6 million, that's a big, that's a nice, that, that's more than double our current cash. I'll take it. All right, um... I would, part of me wants to grab, oh man, this is actually tough. Because that Rifleman 2C is an actual interesting mech. The 2P? The 2CP. Like, it is a anti-stability machine. But the long time is like, oh my god. Like, it's real tempting. I th Oh god, that's tough. Like a long time would be. It, it's such a. It's so powerful. Out of curiosity, do we have any cataphract bits lying around? I don't think we do. No, we don't. All right. So I'm really not interested in the cataphract or the thunderbolt, really. We have one piece of thunderbolt, so if I got the piece, I'll, that's fine. All right, we're getting, what, nine more picks out of this? If I grab the 2C Rifleman, there's a chance, if I if we roll the, the if we roll the long time at all, we just get it. Oh, that's tough. The long time's such a powerful tool. But the Rifleman is actually just fun. Like, I'm sort of there on the fun. I'm there on the fun. We're going for the fun. I got the rifle. We got the SRM carrier, which I'm not not interested in, but that's fine. Like legit, I'm okay with this. Like, I'm not I'm not interested in an SRM carrier, but that rifle and two CP though, that's that's not a bad mech. It legit is not, honestly. Like it may need to, might want to tweak it a little bit, but like those light rifles are actually good. Hmm. Like legit, I think that's the right. I think I, I, I'm hoping that's the right. Like the, I totally understand why I should probably have taken the. Uh, like, there's a really good rationale for having taken the. Uh, I'll build the carrier here. Yeah. Actually, I'm not really that even that interested in building the carrier. Like, I don't even like interested in building it. I don't. I don't like the SRM carrier. It's not actually. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. All right. Let's see. So it's it's basically a rifleman 2C, but peripherized. It's even not even slow. Like it's actually fairly nimble. Like, legit, we just do that to get rid of the drawback of the prototype XL. Like, this is not a bad gun, bad mech. Like, I keep the heavy plating. Like, legit, it's good. Like, okay. Do I even keep the jump jets? Like, maybe? Like, I think I dropped the machine gun because I don't care about that. Um. Like, the small shields, I, like, this thing is super tough for its- This is actually, like, legit. I might drop the small shield just to get some tonnage for other stuff, but like, yeah, like I'm—I don't need this. The small shield is the one thing I don't think it needs. It doesn't need it. 
Holy shit, hang on. Optimally, we, we put it all in all the ammo in one location, but like for for the sake of simplicity. I mean, actually, you know what? I think I'm not, I'm gonna save my shield for. I don't know. This thing is actually so durable. I think shield's the right move. And I think divvying up the art, divvying divvying them up is the right move also. Because like we can lose we can lose the ammo like we could lose a torso and keep fighting. And we still have tonnage, like Alright, I'm out I'm out of I'm out of, out of location designators, that's unfortunate. <laughs> This thing's fat. Like, uh, yeah, throw a look mag magnification ray on. Extra, a little bit of extra range of the rifles is not bad. Uh, we can't add armor. It's the really funny thing. Like, um, maybe I pull a tiny bit of armor and put like. Do I just run like an AMS on this? Actually, we ditched the mag no, no, magnification is not what we do. No, 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 no. We run an AMS on this sucker and just pull like a skosh of armor off. Oh, we wow. Okay, hang on. I guess we just pull like a click of armor off somewhere. We we have to drop a lot of armor to do. Why is it that? Why is that to pull off twenty five points? I guess we don't pull that off. Um. All right. How do I do this? I mean, I know how I do this. Like, I guess we end up a little bit underweight. So move, to, move to the jump just to center torso. Yeah, I guess the answer is, I mean, like, this is the answer. I don't like this answer. Why is it pulling off 25 points of armor in one click? That's the thing that's sort of throwing me for a loop here. Yeah, it's pulling off huge chunks of armor with one click. Why is it doing that? Is that a bug? That might be a bug. It shouldn't be doing that. Alright, um... I don't want to pull off that much armor. Like, I, I just want to pull off a little bit, and I should be able to. Hmm. I don't know. I'll may, I may play with this a bit more later. I, but the, you, know, so you see what I mean by this. This is actually a good mech. What is it complaining about? Underweight, yeah, it's under it's under tonnage is the big it's big issue because of various reasons. That's fine. That's so weird that it's pulling twenty like. It should be pulling it off in five point increments. I don't know why it's not. That's really weird. All right, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. 
because uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. That was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm legit kind of excited by the Rifleman 2, 2 CP. Like, that's going to be a fun mech, I think. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Drop the donation goal thing there. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's for the stream. Uh, but thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I had a blast, as I always do. As a writer, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mechagm. Uh, please come check me out there if you'd like to. Uh, I do stream Battletech on Mondays and Thursdays in the afternoons, starting at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, running until about 7 p.m. Eastern. I stream other games on Tuesdays and Fridays, currently Pokemon Sword on Tuesdays and Seven Days to Die on Fridays. That may be changing in the near future. Saturday is usually tabled up RPG day, and Sundays is the flex day when I'm playing whatever I feel like I want to play that day. Uh, and I do occasionally stream in the evenings when I've got the sort of gumption to do it and I've got something I want to do, but like th 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 I don't schedule those really. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until I see you next, be happy, be safe, keep on gaming, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye!